Hey, my name is Mike Monkeys, and today we're going to be looking at how to make the Gears of War logo, like you can see right here. So what we're going to be doing is working in Photoshop, and we're going to be cutting out objects, and then applying textures. So let's take a look. This is what I have. I obviously used the different different stocks for the uh, for the cog for the gear, say, and the uh, and the skull. So it looks a little different, different. Uh, a different texture as well but you can see it's kind of the same effect and you might get better results than I can so we're going to start out with a new document and I I made it 500 by 500 at, uh, at 300 pixels per inch you can make it 72 also especially if you're just going to use it on, uh, on the web we're going to go ahead and do that um, I'm going to fill the background layer with black um, because it's kind of darker and, uh, and that's how it'll work best and then we are going to go to place and we are going to find um, our skull which I have um, right here I downloaded the media militia skull pack which you can download for free I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, oh, actually, these ones will look a little more menacing, but I used uh, this one up here, partly because it's the it's the full skull. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna place that and uh, turn off the background, so you can notice uh, notice that there's already a bit of background. And uh, I'm gonna select the color range and. Uh, and yes, yeah, since black is already our foreground color, it's going to cut out all of the black. Um, we can just play with the, the fuzziness. Um, so what do we want? We want... There. Uh, Alright, that looks pretty good. We're going to select that and then delete it oh uh... Right, sir. then we're going to make that not a smart object anymore and then delete it and there our background is gone control D to deselect and uh... and since it's a black background it doesn't really matter about this little black outline uh... you can fix that in your selection but but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep going, and uh, and also what I want to do is sorry, my computer's not being very nice to me right now. All right, uh, we're back, and uh, we want to select the eyes and the nose because, as you can see in the logo, those are cut out; they show through the background. So I'm just going to use the magic wand tool. You can use the uh, the pen tool if you want a more accurate <clears throat> accurate selection. Excuse me. And uh, I'm just going to select the eyes quickly, and then uh, I'm going to create a mask. Hit Alt, hold Alt, and then press that. It's going to cut those out. Make sure your mask is still selected, and choose a lower brush size, and cut out each of the nostrils. And once you select more, you can hold Alt and then make your selection smaller. Uh, so we're just gonna, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then the other side. Um, yeah, that's not great, but I'm just gonna try and keep moving as fast as we can for the purpose of this video. And then I'm gonna fill that with black. So that'll cut it out in the mask uh, and deselect and put our background back on. See, it's not very crisp. We have a lot of jaggies going on there. But uh, <clears throat> if you use the pen tool, you get better results. And uh, so then we're going to uh, go to your move tool and hold Alt and Shift. Shift will keep the uh, proportions of the image, and Alt will scale it into the center still. Um, so bring it down to about this size. 
perhaps the check mark. And now we're going to uh, place our our gear. Um, and the image I have is actually three gears, um, but I'm just going to use the magic wand tool again, uh, and just cut one of these out. Uh, and you can use whatever your preferred selection method is. Just try and make it decent selection. Um, the magic wand tool is pretty good, but I know a lot of people like the pen tool because they can get more precision with it. Um, but I'm just trying to do this quickly, so I'm just going to use this for now. And uh, I'm going to refine the edge. And uh, we're going to smooth it out because it's a little, not that much. Alright, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and a little bit of a feather. Alright. Um, oh, I messed that up. I'm going to a new layer with layer mask. Alright. Well, it's actually not, not a very good selection, but... Um, Alright, and then we're going to shift and make it bigger to keep the proportions. Um, make it take up most of the of our composition and try and keep it in the center alright um, and then oh it's a little over alright and then we're gonna make our skull just a little bit smaller so it fits better looks pretty good and also, we're going to rotate it like this, because, as you can see, it's a little bit rotated. Uh, maybe a bit more. That was good. And now we're going to make a new adjustment layer. Um, and what we're going to go to hue and saturation and bring the hue pretty close to the bottom and hit colorize. Um, and so just have like between 1 and 10 for the hue. I'm going to bring the saturation up a little bit, a bit too much. Maybe lighten this down just a tiny bit. And, uh, and then we're going to apply a texture. So I have a bunch of textures already saved up you can just go to uh, stock exchange or another website google images even uh, and search for a grunge texture uh, let's see grunge textures I'm gonna use this one and just wait for it there we go and oh I hit open as opposed to place alright um, I can just drag this. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, it's a lock layer. Never mind. Alright, so place it. Um, let's wait for a second. Alright. And uh, scale it up so it covers the whole image. It's not cooperating right now. Um, Alright. And then we're going to uh, go to our bun mode and change it to multiply. And you can see that it applies the the texture to to the image. You can see without and with, but it also makes it a lot darker. So what I'm gonna do is make a new layer and find a brush um, and put the foreground color to white. Okay. Um, and all right, whatever brush. Try to use one that has a bit of texture, not just a solid brush. 
and uh, I'm just going to paint over this a little bit and you have to make sure it's uh, it's in white um, and then we're going to go to overlay and you can see that's going to brighten it up and also add a little bit of texture um, and oops, we can uh, mess with the hue and saturation a little bit more um, don't want it to be orange but also not really intense red um, don't want to blow it out alright um, let's see is there anything else I did um, I don't think so I think that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed if you have anything else I'm sure you can do a better job than I can um, and if you have any suggestions you feel free to leave a comment and uh, otherwise just let me know what you think I, I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching